Hey everyone, I'm Siobhan and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a weave review for you on this guy here, which is the Amazing Concealer by Amazing Cosmetics. I always, like whenever I read it in my head, it's just like amazing. <laughs> so it's the Amazing Concealer by Amazing Cosmetics. And this is supposed to be like a fairly hardcore, full on camouflage concealer. I got this in McSharry's Pharmacy, I think in Westside. And it comes in a 15 mil, which is a five fluid ounce, size or I think like a 7.5 mil. I think it's like half the size as well again um which I assume is like 2.5 fluid ounce I'm not sure how that works and it's really expensive that's what I'm going to say first all off because when I got this I actually wasn't aware that there was two sizes but I bought it for 23 euro and that was on sale down from 29 euro I think and then in Matto Flaherty's in town, I actually saw this same size on sale for 37 euro, which actually knocked me for six. I couldn't believe that something this size was 37 euro, which is more expensive than a lot of foundations out there. So um, definitely shop around. And I think the smaller one in Matto Flaherty's then was 37 for the big one. I think it could have been like 26 or something for the small wee one, like the, the, the tiny wee one, which I actually thought was a tester. And I don't know what it was in the other shop. So that's what I'm gonna get out straight away. It is not a cheap product. Now it comes in 20 different shades. So there's loads to choose from. This is actually a sample of it that I got in um, the goodie bag from the blogger event that I was at there last weekend. It gives four colors, which is fair golden, me medium beige, tan golden, and dark caramel. And then it gives some of the directions on the back. So it says to dot, blend and repeat. And you can erase dark circles with it. With it, it says to use um, a concealer brush, but it probably only says that because it wants you to buy their concealer brush. I just use my fingers. And then you can use it to erase, contour and highlight. So I'll get on to what I think about that in a minute. So I'll just show you um, it being applied first of all, so you can get an idea of how it applies onto um, clear skin, like clean skin, and not clear skin, because my skin is not clear at the moment, but you can see it being applied onto clean skin, and to give you an idea of how it like covers blemishes and dark circles first. So I'll pop it on for ease now, and my face is actually kind of perfect for this today because it has plenty of kind of blemishes and blotches at the moment for whatever reason um, and I'm quite dark underneath my eyes so I have a bit of eye makeup on, my eyebrows done but I've nothing anywhere else. And this is the guy here, so this is fair. You can see there it's like liquid but it is a gloppy kind of liquid and you know it's thick enough but this is actually quite warm, my room in here is quite warm so this is a little bit more liquidy than it normally is that's no harm because I do try to warm it up anyhow on the back of my hand and with my fingers before I apply it to my face. So I'm going to apply it first underneath the eyes and this is way too much by the way, way too much came out of the back of my hand but it's grand for this. And I'm going to first, and I kind of tend to use my finger with this as well, um, especially when it's on the thicker side so if it's been sitting in a cold room um, I definitely need to warm it up with my fingers. Now it's nowhere near as thick as the Dura Blend or anything like that but I like to just apply it directly onto the darkest areas underneath the eye with one finger and then use another finger to kind of pat it in. You can see here it does give really good coverage. Um, this is quite a neutral shade, it's not the, you know, a very, very yellow shade or anything like that. So even though it covers really, 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 really well. I can still see a hint of purple coming through the under eye, but that would be like being pedantic. I wouldn't worry about something like that on every, you know, on a, on a normal day. So you can see there how much it's brightened up my under eye area. So I'll show you what it's like on blemishes now, and I'm just gonna clean my fingers before I touch my skin. This was such a nasty spot. First of all, yesterday, but I woke up this morning and it was really, really sore. I kind of scraped it in, in my sleep and it woke me up, it was so painful. So I actually had to, and I don't necessarily recommend this, but I actually had to kind of just lightly squeeze a little bit out because it was so, so sore. And um, I didn't even have to put hardly any pressure on it. It like spurted, which I know is disgusting, but I love it. Um, and I feel so much more comfortable now. But I tend to get spots in this area. I'm very bad for like putting my hands here and going like this and just touching my chin in general. So I'm gonna pop this here. And I do think it's good to see what it looks like on clean skin, um, even without, oh, sorry, I'm looking for without foundation. And then I'm just gonna clean my finger again and then move over to the other blemishes. And I just tend to always um, 
bounce it on the skin around the blemish and leave it for a minute or two before I actually blend it in. When it's like a hardcore blemish, I don't necessarily have to wait around my eye area or anything like that. So as you're applying this, it really does feel very, very emollient. It doesn't at all drag the skin. Um, you know, it's very heavily mineral oil based and you can kind of tell that as you're applying it. So that won't be to everyone's taste, um, but it doesn't actually bother me too much. Oh, that spot is still sore. And that's it now on the blemish. So you can see it's actually covered really well, even though because of, like I said, the heat of the room, it's actually um, a little bit more liquid than what I like to work with. It normally wouldn't be so liquidy and it would normally cover a little bit better. But one thing I will say, I'm gonna put on a little bit of foundation now and then I might need to reapply the concealer afterwards. It being an oil-based concealer means that you can put it over a water-based foundation, but if you put a water-based foundation over your concealer, um, it will probably separate because oil over water will separate, it doesn't mix. You can put oil on top of water products, just not the other way around. So I would always uh, recommend doing your foundation first and then this afterwards, but just to show you how it was on these blemishes, I wanted to do this first. And now that it's on, and you can see this is what it looks like obviously when everything is set, and as I did mention there, you do have to be careful about apply applying it underneath water, water-based um, foundations because it is oil-based. So I'll start off with that. This is very heavy in oil. The first ingredient is paraffinium liquidium, which is mineral oil. The second ingredient is petroleum, which I kind of thought was the same thing. So obviously they're just derivatives of it. I think mineral oil is a derivative of petroleum. Don't freak out guys, petroleum, when it's at cosmetic grade, is fine, does no harm to your skin. Mineral oil, a cosmetic grade is absolutely no harm to your skin either. If you don't believe me, go onto the Paula's Choice website, um, Cosmetics Cop, and she actually grades it a good ingredient for the skin because it is actually very, very conditioning and moisturizing for the skin. And also, if you are worried about whether it causes acne or not, okay, so here's how mineral oil works. Mineral oil is not actually acnegenic in that its um, molecules are not small enough to get into the pores, right, to block them. But saying that, it does block your skin, as in, you know, it, 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 when you put it on, it um, creates a layer, a non-breathable layer over your skin. So that basically means that um, it will trap in any stuff that has blocked your pores. So the mineral oil itself isn't blocking your pores, essentially, like it's not in, in the pores, it's not the dirt, dirt in the pores that's causing the acne, but it can actually trap that stuff that's already in your pores in, if that makes sense. And one of the good things about it being oil-based though is that it is water resistant, which is a claim that it makes. So, um, you know, obviously oil does block water, so it would stop sweat and stuff coming through so much, um, but not oil. So obviously sebum and stuff coming through on your, on your face won't be, um, won't be as lucky. So then the third ingredient is talc, which of course will help absorb, um, like say, be, say kind of, absorb that oil a little bit it'll help damp it down a little bit not damp it down but you know um kind of get it under control and then silica as well so you have your oils first of all and then you have your powders so it does balance out a little bit that way and then again it's lanolin oil is the fourth ingredient which is of course from sheep so it's definitely not for you vegans um out there it being so heavily oil based i'd say it's better for normal to dry skins and the way i can see it even over my own skin is that um and it's fine over normal skin and it's grand over dry skin because dry skin is lacking in oil anyhow, so there's no harm in that. Over dehydrated skin, however, if you haven't um, properly hydrated your skin underneath it before you put this on, you can see um, superficial like dehydration lines will show through throughout the day. Um, but that again is down to your own, you know, you have to prep your skin properly for that. Now, where it can suffer is over oily skin because it is oil based. So what I find happens is obviously uh, oil breaks down oil. That's just the way it works. Oil will dissolve oil. So as the day goes on, on my nose area, where it, which is my oily area, I'm not oily anywhere else really. It's just kind of around the nose, sometimes a little bit on the chin. This will start to separate a little bit and just kind of 
disintegrate is the only way I can put it. Now that's after a long, long day's wearing. It's much better if I have a kind of oil controlled primer underneath, it'll last a lot longer. So I definitely recommend anyone who has combination skin to use that. I don't really recommend this for anyone with oily skin for that reason that your oil can just break down the product after a few hours. Also mineral oil being a shiny oil product can just make the skin appear more oily if you already are oily so it's probably not going to suit you. And then obviously like I was mentioning there earlier on, um, even though it can't actually get into your pores, it will um, you know, trap in stuff in the pores so if that's an issue that you already have this is something that you might want to want to avoid. So um, whether it's amazing or not, that's down to personal preference, I'd say, and down to your skin tone, skin type rather. I'd say anyone with normal dry skin will absolutely love this. It really is a lovely full coverage, um, well, fairly full coverage concealer. It has an kind of a tiny bit of a translucency to it. Like for instance, as I mentioned, when I did my under eyes, it covers really well, as in like it's really brightened and it has done a really good job, but I can still see a little bit of my purple and blue coming through because the, you know, the, the shade of this wasn't strong enough to actually color correct. So, you know, it's not totally opaque, opaque. You definitely need to build it up in layers, but I don't want to go too heavy underneath the skin. Um, you don't want to warm it up too much because if it gets too liquidy it just won't set enough to kind of build up in those layers so this again is has been in my warm room and it's a little bit too warm or too liquidy but if it's actually quite cold you do need to warm it up a good bit with your fingers. I do really like this and um, as long as I prep my nose properly and then set up with a powder it will last pretty well throughout the day. It gives, I do like the coverage it gives because it's not cakey, which I think sometimes you will find with something like the Derma Blend, it can get a little bit cakey. It's a much drier um, formula. And then under the eyes, it is going to go and settle into your lines. So you will need to use a powder. I use something like this, which is the Benefit Powder Flash, which is actually discontinued, but say like the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening uh, Powder or any like very, very finely milled powder, particularly one that's kind of design for the under eye area would be great to set it in place. Now I find as well that the hotter you get the more it will um, potentially go into lines and migrate and stuff like that so your body temperature will actually affect it because it is um, such an oil based product or an oil heavy product. So I do think it's lovely. Um, I can see why people like it but I also think you have to be very careful with who you use it on and in prepping your skin and then you know finishing off the skin with powder and stuff like that. So I would definitely try and um, get a sample if I were you to see how you guys like it because I think it's something you really have to try out on your own skin. But um, I do like it and I will continue using this and it's something I would happily get for my kit because like I said using it on the right skin it would be brilliant and can really really um, really really cor correct certain issues on the complexion. Let me know what you guys think about this anyhow. I think it's a really interesting formula and um, even though it's quite expensive I do I do like it. I do like it. I'm, like I said I have mentioned the downfalls of it so you just have to be aware of those. So thanks a million for watching guys. I will leave any links to um, where I know you can buy it below and in the meantime take care and I'll see you on my next video. Slam.